Here, we're looking from behind at the base of the bladder and the prostate. Part of the prostate has been removed here. On each side, the ductus deferens widens out to form the ampulla, where spermatozoa are stored. Lateral to the ampulla on each side is the seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicles produce a nutrient liquid that forms much of the total volume of the seminal fluid. The walls of the ampulla and of the seminal vesicle are formed largely of smooth muscle. When this contracts, the contents of both chambers pass together into the ejaculatory duct. To see where the two ejaculatory ducts emerge, we'll look from in front at a specimen that's been opened up. Here's the mucosa of the base of the bladder. Here's the internal urethral meatus. Here's the prostate, which we've divided coronally along with the urethra. The cut edges of the urethra are here. The ejaculatory ducts open into the urethra here, on either side of this midline projection, the colliculus.